Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for May the 23rd, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, Novartis's Entresto obtained a Class 1 recommendation in new heart failure guidelines released in the US and Europe. Bernstein analyst Tim Anderson noted that the guidelines read favourably, in fact they are about as favourable as we could have hoped for. Also in the news, ahead of an FDA advisory panel meeting, agency staff raised concerns about the utility of Sanofi's fixed-dose combination diabetes therapy. Reviewers suggested that the drug's dosing mechanism might expose some patients to ineffective amounts of the GLP-1 receptor agonist Lixumina. In other news, Arbor Pharmaceuticals agreed to acquire Xenoport for approximately $467 million, expanding its neurology product portfolio. Arbor CEO Ed Shutter said, Xenoport's lead product, Horizant, offers a valuable treatment option for moderate to severe primary restless leg syndrome and post-herpetic neuralgia. In addition, senior staff are reportedly leaving the China Food and Drug Administration for more lucrative positions in pharmaceutical companies, resulting in shortages at the regulator. Former Section Chief Cheng Gang said, The brain drain of skillful people definitely impacts the CFDA's ability to operate, especially, for example, its ability to evaluate new drugs. And finally, Colombia's health minister has threatened to issue a compulsory licence for Novartis's Gleevec unless the drug maker accepts a price cut. Company spokeswoman Julie Masso suggested that such a move would create a damaging precedent that could apply to all patent-covered innovations, pharmaceutical or otherwise. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.